What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A. Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. We're back at you with another tour. We're in Fairfax County this time in Chantilly at the Retreat at Westfield. We're going to be taking a look at this model home here by Miller and Smith. It's a townhouse, four levels. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with what they've done with the fourth level. I also like the the size of the guest bathroom. Guess the 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 owner's bath of course looks lovely and the design here Million Smith whoever they're using for their model home designs needs a raise because you're going to see in here some things we have not seen on any of our other tours. They have a little under a little under, under 15 or 20 units remaining uh, in this development here one of our clients just purchased a Miller and Smith property as a resale well constructed home inspection went quite well several years after being delivered so I think that you're going to be very pleased with the product here Miller & Smith is a local home builder, unlike some of the big box brands. So you do get um, a bit more of a personal style or some personal flair. They have 50 years of experience. Um, they've been building since 1964 and have completed su successfully completed 20,000 new builds. We're going to go take a look at the Clarion model here. So in new builds, they usually set up this little station here as the office or the sales center. So this is going to be a garage. We will just peek our head in there, but it's not as important because it's, it's a garage. Garages look like garages. So as soon as you walk in, you greet it with some staircase, so almost like a split level design here. After we go up the stairs, we'll get an option to either go straight through and go down the stairs to go into the basement level or to go upstairs into the main living area. So we're going to actually check out the basement level last on our tour and we'll just head up and go to the main living area. Like I said, Miller Smith does a great job with their design choices and their the layout. Man, this house looks like my house would look after children. Okay, so from left to right, we have two potential living spaces. They put the dining room off to the front of the property here. And then we have your living space off to the back by the deck and the larger windows right here. Towards the front of the property, we have ourselves a little nook here that you can either use similar in a similar fashion, like a little wet bar. And we have the powder room. One thing you'll notice is that you have nice ceiling height with this unit. If you, remove, if you remove that banquette or that um, that piece of furniture right there, you could at least fit another two chairs in your in this dining room space. So it's open to entertaining a large number uh, of guests. Let's get 
ourselves a nice little view of this for the individuals who are looking at these videos to get some design ideas. Again, we're off to the front of the property. Gorgeous fall day. Those are the other units that are that Miller and Smith are building uh, for this development. A couple cool things or features that this community includes is you have a little pond, man-made, um, with a little pier that you can sit out on the pier. There's also outdoor gym, outdoor uh, playground for kids, and plenty of walking trails. Plenty of walking trails. So we have a well-appointed kitchen here, and you already know how I feel about vent hoods. I love vent hoods. Love that this model comes with an option for the vent hood, and you have your microwave on top with the oven on the bottom there. I also believe that this oven placement right here is actually better for you because if you had a traditional, if you had a traditional oven in a range, then it would be a little bit lower. So if you're trying to get that Thanksgiving turkey out of here, it's going to take you a little. It's going to take you a little. Uh, amount of energy this will be some energy expended right so we have a pantry oh actually this is not the pantry this is the coat closet for this level oh it's a pantry interesting so where is the oh I guess you could I guess you could put the coat closet towards the by the front of the property in the by the bathroom there's some some extra space over there so again plenty of space between the dishwasher and the neighboring cabinets here so you don't have to worry about bumping into things when you're cooking or you're washing dishes love these coffered ceilings i believe that that's the correct technical term if that's incorrect please let me know in the comment section i'm always open to learning i love the way this i love these coffers the coffered ceilings bring some definition to the space right so like you, you have like this sort of drop down that gives uh like i said definition and then you have the the wood paneling uh, on a wall of the I don't know what this I know this is a popular design feature and right I've seen it on several magazines and on TV and on TV but you have a nice size living room space here look at that that's beautiful like I said Miller and Smith does a great job with the design um, like I said, I was able to recognize Miller Smith's product here because this is a similar railing design that one of my clients just purchased in Ashburn. Right. So you have the fireplace with the two windows on the side. If you have the end unit here. So you'll get a lot of natural light depending on the time of the day. I love what they've done with the window seats here. Now let's go take a look at the deck outside. Purchasing one of these units, you are backed up to the trees. So you get a nice little tree line to view on your deck. Give you some level of privacy, not to mention your neighbors over here. And here's the shot of the backyard. And the entire property. Okay, 
So as you can see from the size of this deck here, just like the model, you can fit yourself a nice little table, some additional chairs. If you wanted to get yourself a grill, I'm not, I don't believe that there's any restrictions on a grill, having a grill. The townhouse is located around a sort of like a business park here. So on weekends, it's not gonna be as much or if any traffic in the area. So that's also a plus. So let's go head up to the bedroom level. If you're ready to start your home buying journey, whether it's uh, really a real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire. There's a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire. Complete that questionnaire, complete that form, and we'll schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions. Whether you're buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate. All right, so working our way from left to right here, we have the laundry room, we have the stairs, Going up to the fourth level, owner's suite, linen closet, guest bathroom, guest bedroom number one and two. All right, let's start with the guest bedroom since the owner's suite and the stairs are on the other side of the building. So we have guest bedroom number one here this building this bedroom is off to the front of the property here so your guest will be facing the front which reserves the better view which reserves the better view for the adults. And then we have like a one and a half door wide closet system. So it's not just the width of this closet here. Then we have guest bedroom number two. Space man. Again, this bedroom is off to the front of the property as well. There is a larger, or what appears to be a larger bedroom closet. Let's take a peek. So, yes, so we have a double door closet system in the in guest bedroom number two bedrooms feel about the same size the only difference is the closet space like i mentioned at the beginning of the video check out the amount of space in the guest bathroom big enough to put yourself a double vanity full-size toilet and a three-piece tub shower combo. All right. Looks like they got a nice little wallpaper up here. I love this lighting. That's a cool light. Yeah, nice lighting. And that is it. That is it, this black color. Faucets, that's the new, the new craze. I'm seeing them in a couple new builds now. 
So if you're looking for some design ideas to, if you're looking for some design ideas to modernize your house, maybe black, black accessories. So we have a side-by-side -side washer and dryer, plenty of space for additional storage, store all your laundry goods in the, in, the, in the cabinet there and there's a light in there as well so that's good news good news then we have the linen closet right here and lastly we have ourselves the owner's suite Appears to be we have a king size bed with two large nightstands. Two large nightstands. And what is that little build out they did there? That's cool. Look at how cool that is. And this is off to the back of the property so you'll have views of the trees plenty of space in this room for additional furniture and it won't feel in my opinion it won't feel um, crowded right so you can even put another piece of furniture on that wall over there and Continue to shop your heart's desire. All right, so now we're in the owner's bath. So we have the toilet closet here, no bidet. And we have a shower, walk-in shower, nice clean lines, and a double vanity. What nice size counter space, also deep sinks. Really nice size sinks. There we go, lights on, there we go, now it's better. Let's get that. All right, so let's take a look at this shower. This is a huge shower. Ooh, that door feels like it has some substance to it. Love this little picture window here. Why are you in the shower? There you go. Also, you got yourself a little shower head right there. I was just thinking, we just did a renovation on our bath and um, we should have put a rain head uh, in the ceiling. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. All right, so we have one more level, or really two more levels to go. We'll go to the, well, before we go there, we have to check out the closet, right? Don't let me get too far ahead of myself. All right. Nice size walk-in closet. Plenty of space for two people to share. And because of the nice ceiling height here, you bought some, if you, did some custom closet add-ons. You'll be able to fit even more clothing in this space. All right, so let's go to the fourth level here. It's a great space, right? Sometimes when you have the two car garage, it takes up so much space on the basement level that you don't have enough room to get yourself a nice entertainment space. Not in this house here. So with this fourth level addition, 
or not addition, but this fourth level, you have plenty of space to either make this an additional bedroom if you wanted to, a nice size office, if that was what you were interested in. A kids room if you have little ones. Exercise room if you're really big into exercising. So yeah, so lots of opportunity here. And then you have this, what I, what I like the most up here is this little window seat here. Could you imagine grabbing a book? You got your nice view. watching, waiting for the sun to set. Maybe put yourself a Keurig up here or some type of other beverage device. And you could have yourself a nice, relaxing time. All right, so we have one more level. We'll go down to the basement, down three levels. Again, if you're interested in starting your journey, oh, before we start that, before we pitch you, there's one door that we haven't looked in. It's just some storage space, right? Okay, now where were we? If you're ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Fill out that form and we will schedule a time to meet via Zoom. On that Zoom call, we'll answer any and all and all of your real estate questions, whether you're buying a home, selling a home, investing in real estate, or building a new home like this one. We look forward to talking to you about your real estate needs. Now let's go take a look at the basement level. Let's go take a look at that basement. We'll go to the basement and we will go outside in the road where we can either go to the kitchen go to the front door but we're going to the basement all right so since this is a sales center they have it set up to be almost like a little showroom here one note I want to add is that this space looks like it's a little, may look like a little, a little congested because of the built-in here. This is also a handicap accessible bathroom, which is not going to be in most or if any properties. So this bathroom is actually smaller. So there is more space here. I know it's hard to explain, but I think she left the designs out for me. Yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at it. All right, so this is the powder room uh, here. And see how the recreational room is just a little bit larger. It's a little bit larger there. And this is what the that powder room looks like. So you do have an option to create another bedroom down here if you wanted to have a fourth uh, bedroom, right? So you come down the stairs, rec room, and then there would be uh, a bedroom off to the side. All right. All right. So it doesn't really make sense, in my opinion, to go into that bath because it's not really what you would anticipate seeing in your model. There is a storage room right or a coat closet right off of the garage. And then this would be the garage, right? So let's just peek in. Of 
course, your garage is not going to look like that. Uh, and that is where your two car garage is going to be located. Now let's go take a look outside. All right, so we're outside in your backyard. Your HVAC unit will be located probably around this area here on your deck here, but it does give you um, what's nice is that they have a concrete slab here underneath your, your deck, so it does extend your living space. And you have some some grass, right? So you could practice, you could pretend like you're cutting grass. As long as there's not, there's not enough grass really to have a, um, there's not really enough grass to have a uh, lawnmower, but you know, it is a it is a decent amount of grass. So, so that is that is it for today's tour, right? I hope that you you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed this tour. So again, I wanted to show you. You see how all of the townhouses have those slabs there. So you should have a slab in your backyard. Or I believe that is an option. At least you can just select. We'll need to confirm. But I hope you enjoyed today's tour. This is a Miller and Smith townhouse in Chantilly in the Fairfax County. The community is called The Retreat at Westfield. Miller and Smith is the builder. And I'm Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker. You know the Virginia real estate agent. Thanks so much for watching our channel. If you know of any other properties or builders that you want us to go and tour, or maybe you're a builder yourself watching our videos, you can reach out to us. Our contact information is down below or just comment in the comment section. We appreciate your feedback. And until next time, peace. What is up, people? What is up, people? Before we get into our tour, I wanted to show you this water feature I mentioned in the beginning of my video. Sometimes the best way to explain something is just to show it to you this is a a nice little touch here there is supposed to be a fountain in this there's supposed to be a fountain in this uh water feature here so we have we have on the exterior here we have the miller and smith properties in the interior i believe the builder's name is craft house or uh, craft Mart, one of those two, one of those two, right? So we have the little playground there for the kids. I don't want to get too close to that section in case they have kids over there. I don't want to get them in the video. And then we have the pier, a little pier area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are the steps coming down the pier. We also have a little ramp there too. So if you don't want to do the steps, you don't have to. That's the steps. That's my shadow. And my camera, for some reason, is making a weird noise. Anyway, um, here is the pier. Here's your little water view. We got a little turtle on the fountain where the fountain will be. Um, but yeah, you can come out here. This is just a brief walk from your unit. Looks like the sun sets over there, so you can watch the sunset after work and enjoy enjoy living in this new townhome community. That's pretty cool. It's a cool little touch. All right, one more thing I want to show you uh, that I mentioned, and I'm gonna mention it in a few seconds on your video, is that one of the features uh, in this community is that they actually have outdoor exercise equipment. So I love the outdoor exercise equipment idea because it allows you to go take, go for a walk and uh, get a little workout in. 
So these pieces like this, this outdoor exercise equipment is located all throughout this community. So you have this one over here. You also have another little outdoor play set for adults right there. Yeah, and it's sprinkled all throughout too. So that's pretty cool. Wanted to show you this, get my eyes on it, get the camera on it. Enjoy your tour of the new construction property. Peace. Thank you.